Hi folks, welcome to the second in uh, what will be a, a six-part series, or as I call it, two effing bastard fucking wanky shitting long, of me watching uh, vi various videos in which Dave Rubin either um, uh, performs or um, just talks about uh, stand-up comedy. Now this is, re thankfully, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do them in order of length. You know, um, all the you know that seems to be the best uh, approach here. Just just like any orgy. Um, so I'm gonna. So here's the thing. Now this is a very short clip. It's only three minutes long. But don't trust me. If you think that's a good thing, when Dave Rubin is on stage, time almost stands still, or goes on forever. They're both kind of the same thing, aren't they? Um, but this is a clip. Of, this is actually quite probably the most sort of well-known clip of anyone who's seen that. And, and let's be honest. In the world of well-known Dave Rubin clips, oh my God! The oh, could you could you possibly list them all? Watch Mojo should do a, a top one. And anyway, it's from this. This is the clip. It's very. It's um. It's a uh, Dave Rubin at some club who obviously were desperate. I don't know. Um, and it's a. Uh, it's it's called Hot Gays Do Comedy now. Um. I don't know anything about hot, um, but Dave certainly wasn't. Um, is you know he wasn't doing comedy, um, so maybe he had maybe he had a fever. Maybe he's the hot gay, and the rest of them are doing the comedy. Um, but Dave was somehow miscast in this comedy night, as if you could cast him anywhere properly, other than I don't know the geezer in the toilet who hands the fucking mints out. But he was uh, chosen to be the MC, the mar the compare the master of ceremonies. Now, I've been a compare quite a lot of time, and being a compare is quite a, is, you know, there's a certain, there is a certain skill you have to have. Now, obviously, Dave doesn't have any, uh, you know, but that, in all fairness to him, he's done very well without it. Um, imagine how dangerous he could be if he actually knew what the fuck he was doing. Now, he's the compare. Now, the idea of the compare is you are supposed to go out there and get the, you don't have, you, you don't have to be the funniest person on the bill. You know, you don't even have to be really that funny. But what you do have to be is likeable. You have to be likeable. You have to be able to set the audience at ease. That's your job. And you have to go out in between all of the acts and make sure that whether the audience are very high energy or low energy or whatever, that you bring them back to the middle and then you bring the other acts on. So everyone starts with the same thing. Everything's fair. That's your job. You are... You're like the you're the grout. You are the fucking poly cell that holds all the tiles of comedy together. That is your job as a compare. Now Dave tends to go out, seems to want to go out there with the attitude of let's just you know alien. Let's call let's have so much sort of awkward silence in in a two minute period that no one. I mean you could have you could have Robin Williams, Billy Connolly, Richard Pryor. You could have everyone headlining this motherfucker. You could have you could do any you could try anything you want. No, no one's going to bring this fuck these fuckers back, right? The Monty Python could go out there, do the parrot sketch, and they would get pelted with dog turds and fucking rotten tomatoes, um, purely because of the mood that Dave Rubin has left them in. Right, and so this is quite remarkable. This is, I mean, this is a, a remarkable, you know, two minutes of being being shit at comedy, um, which is, no, if nothing else, it's nice to know he's perfected that. Hot, hot gay comics. Hello. There you go. Right, you do it. You're doing well, Dave. I'm going to say so far you're doing well. You said hello. The audience are clapping. The audience always cheer at the start because you know it's a, you know it's just to say, look, we're on board. We're we're willing to clap. We're willing to cheer. And there it says Dave Rubin with a big yellow arrow um, pointing. At, I don't know if that's the exit sign. You know, um, but there he is. And now they, look, there's people there. Um, this is being filmed, unfortunately, for everyone involved. Holy, holy Jesus! People showed up. I that's always a good way to start, Dave. Act surprised that an audience has even bothered arriving. You know, that's um, that's always going to give people a lot of confidence. You know, holy Jesus, people showed up. That's what you want. It's like a, you know, it's like when a patient comes round after surgery and the and the you know the surgeon says, "Bloody hell, he's alive!" I'll be damned. How you doing? 
Yes, how are you? We were a little nervous because this is above ground and a lot of times gay people only do things in groups below ground. Did you hear that Vesuvius erupting there? Right? Did you hear that? What could possibly, what you could generously call a a smattering, a, you know, a, a minor smattering. Now, this is something Dave does a lot. Not just tell bad jokes, but he attempt. He, he, Dave clearly, and you know, it's not. It's you know, a lot of com, you know comedians can't you know necessarily do everything, but a lot of comedians think that observational humour, you know, um, we. You know, is is really easy to do. They think it's they think it's really they think it's really simple, and it's not. It's actually very difficult because the point of observational comedy is it's not just pointing out things that that lots of people do. It's you've got to find things that lots of that everybody does, but we don't not we don't know that we do it until they point it out, and everyone goes, oh yeah, we do do that. That's where the humour lies in it. Now what Dave does here, he, now, now Dave is either terrible at observational humour or he happens to have lived a life where he statistically is some sort of anomaly where he's just seen loads and loads of examples of certain types of people constantly doing the, the same weird behaviour and he, he goes on stage and goes, hey, hey, gay people, hey, underground, in groups, hey, because hmm? well, cause they're wombles, yes, yes, they're, they're wombles and they're mob, yes. You know, underground, in ca yeah, we, we know. Underground, overground. Wandering free, all the, all the gay lords of gay lords. You know, that's what we, but he doesn't do that, so he fails. And this is not the only one. We could make a, you could make a fucking trading card series. Let's count them down. So we've got, we've got so far, we've got, we've got gays going underground. And uh, which obviously the audience has gone. Huh? <laughs> but I'm glad you're all here. This is very exciting. Hot gay. Con right. Okay. I think this is very exciting. Well, it was. Right. The audience are already, you know, gem generally they'll give you a chance. You know, but your first joke has to be a banger. You know. Comics live for television. Mm -hmm. For television. How wonderfully vague. What what ungodly hour on what forsaken fucking channel that no cunt fucking watches, even if they're at an airport or free. You know, even tramps don't watch this fucking TV station through a shop window. Who fucking imagine? Imagine this. Imagine watching this on TV. Imagine being those poor bastards who went to this, right? and then people watching it on the telly going, "I can't believe this is fucking loud." You know? uh, by a sh uh, show of hands, how many of you have televisions? Have you have a? Right, okay, that's good. good question. How many of you have television show of hands? Bit of a strange question to ask in the 21st century. How many of you have televisions? Well, I mean, they're, they're there, Dave. I mean, I'm, I'm, be, I'm, I'm probably sure that this, knowing that this is recorded and is going to be shown on it, I imagine none of them, they probably went to be living the Amish town. Pretty good, okay. And how many of you have the Here Network? How many of you have the Here Network? So it's on the Here Network, right? But why are you asking them that, Dave? They don't need to have the TV or the Here Network. Do you know why? Because they don't need they don't need the Here Network because they're there. They're there now. They're there to see the fucking show that's meant to be broadcast. So why are you asking the audience there whether they've got a TV so they can watch it? Is it because so few people watch this network that if everyone in that audience tunes in, it will set some kind of fucking... Re you, this, this show would be the fucking final episode of M.A.S.H. So, yeah, so good. How many of you have got a TV? How many... You know, it's... He's not going anywhere with this. This is normally what you do in comedy. You ask a question, you get a response, and then you take that information, and then you do something with it. Dave doesn't do this. He just... He, he starts with... A, he gets the premise of the joke, you know? He gets the setup. But he just seems to, like, not bother with the... It's not like he's failing at the punchline. He just doesn't... He hasn't bothered with it. Okay, we've got some work to do, but we're... We've got some work to do, have we? Yes, because people are obviously going to sign up for this network um, on the basis that you're do you're doing stand up now, Dave. That's uh, very good. So, do we have all gay people? Is everyone here? Is gay? is everyone gay? So we've had. Have you got a TV? Have you got the network that this fucking absolute abomination that will never get fucking that that will literally plague the careers of probably everyone involved? You know, the pit, the fucking god. This is like almost. It's almost like a sort of mini Waco, except it's got a little bit more of a happier ending. Wait, you know, hey. how many people here are gay? This is a hot gay comics 
Like, you know, I, I mean, he's asking if people are gay, but you know, they can't be gay, surely, because they didn't laugh at the underground joke. Hey. Yeah, that's the biggest cheer he'll get all night, is asking people if they're gay. Because Americans are like that. If you ask American audiences a question, and uh, and and they agree with it, you know, you can go, hey, yeah, hey, hey, who likes, who's got a cardiovascular system? Yes, yeah. And who has got one that converts muscle into, who converts protein into muscle energy? Whoa, yeah, yeah, I've got one of them. Are you a mammalian biped? Yeah. Very good, very good. Do we have some... Now they're just talking amongst them. They've already started talking, the audience. This is this is currently... He's been on stage for like 20 seconds. And he's lost them, right? Gone. They were... That's how quickly you lose an audience, my friend. A lot of discussion. Like, did some of you... Just... Yeah, they're having a discussion, Dave. They're wondering when the jokes are coming. They're discussing... They're probably having a discussion. They're probably telling each other jokes, you know. Just tell us one we know. You know, that'd be nice. Steal a joke. I don't care how obvious it is. Come out right then. <laughs> he said, "Come out." You see, <laughs> you see. Now that that was subversive. I should tell you, I'm gay. We're at a gay show. I... Uh, yeah, uh, he's gay as well. I'm gay, by the way. You know, are you gay? This is a gay show. Everything gay, 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 gay. I'm just gonna keep. T I'm just gonna keep saying it because uh, uh, for some reason, Dave seems to think that gay people. Um, I mean, obviously, get Dave. You know, one day thought that he could be. He was the funny guy. Um, he still evidently does. Um, but he apparently thought that you know, gay people would laugh at literally anything. Um, yeah, you know, maybe he thought that you know, doing stand up that was like the that was like the the card trick to the black person. You know, thought this would be a good way of doing it. Do we have some lesbians? I said. Do we have lesbians? We said gay people, but let's narrow it down a bit now. We said gay people and got a response. Let's narrow it right down. Do we have any lesbians? Right? Do we have any lesbians who have got, you know, sort of brownish hair? Right? Any lesbians with brownish hair who are aged 37 or over? Any of you got a blood type um, AB? Right? Anyone here got an allergy to fucking pine nuts? Just fucking get off. Would you do a fucking joke, Dave? This is like, isn't it interesting? This is like his, this is exactly like his talk show. Just questions, absolutely no follow up. I sense lesbians in the crowd. You sense lesbians in the crowd. Brilliant, Dave. That's not a fucking dodgy thing to say, is it? Tonight? I noticed a lot of, you know, a lot of people here with, a lot of, a lot of you know, women here with five o'clock shadow, I noticed. Okay, we're, we're a little lesbian heavy on this side. We may have to move. We're a little lesbian heavy, yeah, that'll be it. Some of you. Yeah, and straight people. I, I... And you just, again, you just put any lesbians in. Oh, look, there's more lesbians over here than over there. That's, that's very typical of those lesbians, isn't it? Mm. Now... And uh, do we have any? And he's just going through. You're going to go through every single form of sexuality: pansexuals, any pansexuals in, any asexuals, any zoophiles. Have we got anyone who has been any eunuchs? Anyone from the Heaven's Gate cult? Right. Should ask about this. Straight people. Any straight people? Yes. Really? That was disproportionately powerful. Yeah, well, actually, it was quieter than the amount of gay people cheering, Dave. But, I mean, the straight people are cheering just because it was their turn. I imagine everyone sat there. There's one zoo file sat there now, thinking my time's going up. You know, nothing, but, but they're probably, they're cheering because they've got nothing else to cheer. They, they probably want to have a good time, you know. But, yeah, how, how weird. A lot of straight people going out to a, a comedy night called Hot Gay Comics. It's almost like it doesn't bother them. Really? That many straight... Yes, isn't that weird? Small straight people than gay. Where else would you see that other than the world? I hear you, sir, obviously straight with your four chicks. And... He's straight with his four chicks, right, okay? Because that's what, that's what straight men do, is they only ever hang out with women. Uh, a lot of straight people, really? It's really bothering him, isn't it? Dave, you got a joke. Do a joke. Do a joke about straight people. Hey, have you noticed straight people drive a car like this? Dig to deed anything. Just fuck... God almighty. Hey, I was going to have security remove like three or four of you, but I guess... Where from? Your ass. Hey, see, there was a joke, see. We can't do that. Do we have any, any gays in relationships? Oh, here we go. We've got gays in relationships now. Let's... Uh, I'll tell you what, Dave, I've got a question for you. Have you got any gay jokes? Have you got any... Have you got any joke? you got any racist jokes? Have you got any jokes that literally are just horrific? Have you got any dead baby jokes? Have you written anything? Did you just walk on stage? Right? With like, did you, is it, or is this a challenge? Is this some kind of like, are you, this is like an Andy Kaufman bit, right? That's the only explanation. Are you, are you sitting there going, I can do comedy without punchlines? 
or as I like to call them, gays from the future. Are there any gays here in relationships, or gays from other? Is it? Are there any gays from the future here? Right. See, do you see how that doesn't make sense, Dave? They're, you're asking an audience, are there any gays in relationships? There's a cheer, and then you call them gays from the future, right? That's not. That doesn't make sense, does it? It's. It's. It's logically inconsistent. You two, look at the way you're sitting. You guys are mounting each other in love. Right, yeah, so there's a couple there in love. They're not mounting each other. They're probably they're holding hands, you know. That probably is in Dave's mind. I imagine he's got... He's probably the kind of bastard who thinks taking his socks off is kinky. Look, how long? How long you've been doing it? Seven years. Seven years. Wow, God. I tell you what, gay... Wow, seven years. The gays from the future have been going out for seven years. See, it's even worse now. They've buried your joke even further. Uh, are you going to do anything with this information about seven years, Dave? Anything? You gonna... No, round of applause again. Round of applause for the people in the couple. Round of applause for people. Yeah, everyone, you know, everyone's got a round of applause so far, apart from Dave. Which in gay years, what, uh, 30? What are we talking? What... Yeah, see, gay years. Not again, doesn't make sense, does it, Dave? You know, doesn't mean anything. There's no such thing as gay years. What is that? Uh, well, I mean, there's the wonder years, and then there's uh, gay years. Seven years, what's the trick? Seven years. What's the seven years? Seven! Seven! Seven years! What? Se seven? Seven years? Yeah. Dave, it's seven fucking years! Yes. Would you please get up, get on with it? A seven year old could. If they'd had a kid, it'd be seven years old now. They could have. It would have told better jokes than you. No tricks. Oh. No tricks whatsoever. Wow, there's no tricks. No, we're just going out. We like each other. It's a fucking phenomenal concept I know and one that probably has evaded you mate did you hear that big laugh that that was for the that was for the response not for Dave yeah Dave is just see Dave sacrificing himself so they can tell jokes isn't he a fucking what a wonderful performer how selfless of him yeah oh you're a funny crowd oh, oh yes Dave they are because they've worked out that they have to be or they're not gonna hear fucking anything funny tonight okay and you sound really pissed off about that I'm not bitter at all about the fact that you've got bigger laughs than I've got. After all the what? You know, I can't believe it. After, especially after that fucking clanging, that belter at the start about gays doing group things in groups underground. So a lot of straight people. And oh, for fuck's sake! Yes, Dave. There's lots of fucking hell. It's like Rain Man counting toothpicks. A funny crowd. This could be tough. This could be tough. Straight people and a funny crowd. Yes, this is. That's a nightmare for any comedian. For a comedian, for a gay comedian. Now, yes, but luckily there isn't one on stage at the moment. He's just trying to make his way in the world. This could be tough. But yeah, I, I think you, yeah, you've probably said that. On, so you struggle in front of audiences that are, you know, uh, that are up for up for a laugh, that are into it, and are straight. Yeah, that explains it. That's a great rationalisation. Feels like seven years. That's amazing. Seven so years. Seven I can't years, believe it. Are there any straight people in seven years? Straight people, seven years. Look at all the lesbians over there. Can you believe seven fucking years? No tricks. God, you. My, you guys are funny. I like you. Any, any straight, any bisexuals in? Look at you with your lesbians over there. Just that's all it is. Anyone? Anyway. One guy. Okay. Uh, you should have got a job at the census, you know. Yes, I've been masturbating for 25 years. Yep, you, did, you know, that would have been, you would have done, had more fun. I bet that geezer's out wishing now he'd stayed at home and masturbate. Uh, no, that's your, your boyfriend, your lover, your partner. Dave, Dave, there are gay people in the audience and they are in relationships. We have established this. And, and how long? And, these, and that's Pretty the good. second biggest cheer. Oh, it's so easy to get gays to clap. It really is. It, it, yeah, it, it is, isn't it? It's easy for it is easy to get gays to clap. Could you try it? You know, but um, you know, so it's saying that it's a bit unfair because they're not all gays, are they, Dave? No, there's lots of straights in there as well, and there's lesbians, there's bi, you know, there's all there's, there's pansexuals, there's you know, there's lots of people, there's there's pedophiles, everybody, they're all in there, you know. Normally, Dave, it should be easy for everyone to get him to laugh, but you're struggling. That's made you look even worse. And that was it. That was it. That was the three minutes of that clip. Um, holy shit, did that fucking... Have you... I have... Th that might be the worst like, opening two minutes of a compare I've ever seen in my bloody life. That's the next tape. Let's not fucking show that. Yeah, bit give that away. 
Anyway, I'm glad that's over and done with. Um, I think we all learned a lot. But if you ever, that would, if nothing else, Dave, thank you for giving everybody the perfect band example. Anyway, um, that's the end of video number two. I'll see you for number three.